What's up everybody? Pop and Princess here, back with another food review, and today we are here at the Today Cafe, here in Universal Studios this time. Last time was Islands of Adventure at um, Fire Eaters Grill. Now we are here in Universal Studios because we saw some really interesting items on this menu, and they have everything here. Oh my gosh, pastries, cheesecakes, danishes, overnight oats, chia pudding, they even have like chicken pesto flatbread. I was very intrigued by everything on this menu. I mean, it all looks so delicious, so good. Oh my gosh. And it was actually surprisingly cheap too. So if you're on a budget and you're coming here, I heavily recommend this place so far. I haven't tried the food yet, so that might be the, you know, the thing that changes my mind. But so far, this is a really good choice. Right now, Pop is actually waiting to get the food we already ordered. So once he comes out, we can start. So I will be right back with that. Holy crap. Wow. This looks amazing. All right, folks, so what I have in front of me is the smoked salmon lox bagel. It has smoked salmon, dill cream cheese, onion, dill weed, I think, and it comes with a fruit cup but I also got a side of potato salad because I couldn't resist. What'd you get, Pop? Got the bulls and the bears. Right here. Do you remember what it has on it? Uh, cheese, it has, um, I believe it's shredded beef. Looks like pickled onions too. Uh, possibly, yeah, pickled onions, and it looks like some uh, leafy green salad -y type stuff. It looks I, really good though. And I if you the, weren't gonna get that, I was actually gonna get that because. And actually, I was thinking the same with that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. So the same thing happened that happened last time. Um, and potato salad. Yeah. Do you want uh, silverware? Yeah. You're gonna need it. Okay. <laughs> so I need to somehow dig into this because well, this is toasted and it's quite hot. So. Really? All right. First opinions. Very nice. Good, good, good. Very, very nice. I'm glad. I was so I was so close to getting that. Oh, I'm glad you got it. Well, to be honest, I've had this before here. Oh, really? Yeah. So I had to. I wanted to do it oh, a second time. Oh man! It is so. <laughs> can so I try good. a bite? Yeah, of Let's course you can. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it is so warm too. Wow. I think it's brisket on this. Yeah, get the front there. Yeah. yeah. Brisket. I believe so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely, it's one of these ones, again, I had all intention of, of possibly getting something else. And all the other stuff looked great, but it was like, man. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. So I have my smoked salmon lox bagel. I don't want it to spill, but you can see that there. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Big bite, gang. Whoa. I lost so much cream cheese, but wow. <laughs> I'm going to get another bite with just the cream cheese because I accidentally dropped it off. It's good. I'm in heaven. You want to try a bite of mine? Yes, I do. Oh my God. Man, the sun hitting that is just so beautiful. I'm gonna try the potato salad now. It looks like it has like a lot of seasoning on it too. Which I'm really happy It looks about. like dill. It's a lot of dill. A, a lot of dill, yeah. Cheers. It's potato salad. I mean, it's nothing special, but I love potato salad, so. Yeah. You can't go wrong with it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it special again because my sandwich didn't come with potato salad. It came with fruit as my side. So I was like, oh, I want to try the potato salad. So let me order that too. But now of course I'm going to try the fruit because I love it. 
It's fruit. <laughs> like, I mean, it's good, but it's, you can't really rate fruit. I mean, they probably get it from the, uh, they probably get it can't from a, on your plate. from a store. So I, I can't really rate it. It's not like it's universal special food, but solid so far. Everything here is really good. Do you want this half and I'll take that half? Or are you happy with what you have? Mm-hmm. That's what I have. 100%, what? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, sure. It's 100% what you want. Because I'm happy either way. I don't mind. You're sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool with that. Yeah. We did a little switcheroo. He took my other half. And I took his other half. So. Ah, the best of both. Best of both Good worlds. Up. Got myself a surf and turf. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? Like, it's good, but... Well, it's potato salad. But then they throw... It's like they have extra dill in it, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. Yeah. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I would get this again. Like, I would for sure get this bagel again. Mm-mm-mm. So amazing. So amazing. Theme park food shouldn't be this, like, this good. No, it should not. You know? When you think of theme park food, you think of like burgers, fries, yeah. overpriced water, you know. Never... Which is nothing wrong with the burgers and fries. It's no, nothing wrong with it. This it's is just something like. You're not expecting to get this much out of a meal. Yeah. And I like these ones because these feel like better portion sizes too. Yeah. The, the 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 falafel we got like I that that stuffed me. This might stuff me too, but I I don't know. It feels well, yeah, more balanced. So very nice. Thank you for this uh, lunch, my love. Mm -hmm. I paid. Yep. Holy shnikes, this is so good. My one complaint is that the bagel does kind of fall apart on you, so. Like, my onions keep falling off, and the cream cheese is just coming off of it every which way, so. Yeah. Just need the onions by themselves, because. Two for two so far. Yeah, so far, this is really good. We've had two really good options that aren't as popular. I wouldn't say this place, this place is definitely more popular than the fire eaters grill because of its location and stuff i mean it's right as you enter the park so it's the first thing people see when it's like oh boy food but i think it's still underrated for how good it is it still doesn't beat the hummus and tzatziki at fire eaters grill but it beats the um the gyros for sure and i'll be honest all my years coming here i never knew about this place no until i was watching what is it rick's flicks i think it was yeah Yeah, and they did a i think we were both watching yeah and, and they it was did like, a taste thing here and it's like i gotta try this place out and they were right oh look there's hello kitty huh. is its name hello kitty or is it just kitty i don't know because would you say hello hello kitty is that was your name I'm just wondering. I want to know the proper etiquette for when I talk to Hello Kitty, or when I talk to Kitty. Is it Hello Kitty? Or is it just Kitty? And then I'm saying, you know, and is Hello Kitty the formal, like in Spanish, is Hello Kitty the formal? But if you're friendly, you say Hi Kitty? Because I don't think Hi Kitty would be a great store, but Hello Kitty's a pretty good. I'll go back to eating. Yeah. You should see the size of her litter box. You can't say that. It's frightening that I think the, uh, I think they warm the bagel in the microwave because you know how that microwave bread products are at times, you know, at, towards the end, you know, um, it kind of gets a bit tough to chew. Still delicious, still fantastic. Yeah. But it, 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 it's, it's, 
it's a workout sometimes, a little bit clear towards the end to, to, to yeah. really get it done. Yeah. And I, I mean, it was worth it because like, even though my, my jaw hurt trying to chew it, it was like, okay, but well, this tastes amazing. But the, but the salmon is just cut to where it melts in your mouth. It's just, oh, yeah. just so good. And it, it's proportions exactly right. It's not too much salmon. It's not too much uh, bean cheese. It's not too much onion. It's just perfectly combined and it's, and it's an everything bagel. And it's not too much of that either. Yeah, it's no, it's all, the, yeah. You everything, get a combination it was the perfect of everything. proportions of yeah. everything. It yeah. was great. As you guys know from last time, I love mixing and matching. And so I'm going to put some of the potato salad. Oh my God, that looks fantastic. I, if I could actually get it. Get put it on your plate so it doesn't fall off on the... Yeah. I'm going to have that on here. It's going to be a really awkward bite, but... I want to see if it like adds to it at all because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the warmth of the sandwich with the, like the coldness of the potato salad just like combines so well. I feel like Remy from Ratatouille when you combine like the strawberry and the mango and oh, you yeah. just like. Yes. He died inside? Yeah. I saw I feel having that because holy crap, that's so good. The potato salad has the perfect amount of like seasoning to it too, so it's not too overpowering in the sandwich. But because I can still taste everything in the sandwich and it's oh it's heavenly. I know I said I wasn't gonna rate the fruit, but something about cold fruit on a hot summer day just oh, God. really oh, no, 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 no. That's astounding. We're done. No. Absolutely demolished. How you feeling? Um, I need a nap. Me too. After meal nap sounds really good. But, honest rating at the very end, that potato salad was killer. I know in the beginning I said like, it's, it's okay, but man, it is perfect. It is amazing. My only complaint would be that the bread on both, like the bagel and like the, was it ciabatta? I think it was ciabatta on the bulls and bears. It was very chewy, very- Towards the end. Towards the end, like yeah. in the beginning it was like, oh, whoa. It was but nice and crisp and crunchy and it's- and Yeah, it then, but it quickly became chewy and- it, be, it, it, it seemed like it had been microwaved as opposed yeah. to toasted. But it was still amazing. Yeah. I mean, the sandwich uh, itself, like, regardless, it was... It would not dissuade me from uh, ordering it again at all. Yeah, so if I were to rate these, I would give the salmon... Uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5 because I really liked it. And I would give the bulls and the bears, solely because of the brisket on it, an 8. I really liked them both. They were they were really good ratings. I remember the potato salad, I was like a 9, 9.5. <laughs> yeah, the potato salad was I don't know why, but the size of these places keep taking the cake. Fire Eater's Grill, we... The, the pita and tzatziki, we both said that we could just live off of that. Like, come here and get like a few orders of the pita. Just that. Here, I could just come here and get an order of potato salad and I think I'd be satiated. I think I'd be happy. This place overall as a rating though, I'd give it a 9, maybe an 8. Yeah, oh god, most definitely. 8.5. I mean, there were so many things in there to choose from that looked astounding. Oh my gosh, yes. It All of the astounding. cheesecake. I just didn't know how adventurous I wanted to be today. I mean, and I'm stuck right. I'll take this real quick. Um, one thing I am a little bit unhappy about was I saw that they had like a mushroom truffle thing on their website. It's, it's, it's like a, here it is called, it's like a mushroom it was a pastry, but it was like a mushroom thing, and I was really hoping they had it here, but I didn't see it on display, so I guess they switch things daily, and that kind of disappointed me because I was really hoping to get that, but regardless, it was great. It was an amazing thing. Again, before I was interrupted, there's so many different uh, things to choose from. just didn't feel that adventurous right now. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to try the, was it the Big Apple? The Big Apple looked really I mean, good. It's a grilled cheese sandwich, but you know, it's got, it's got slices of apple on it, and you know, I was just only recently uh, introduced to having an apple uh, apple pie with a wedge of cheddar cheese, and it was astounding. So I can uh -huh. only imagine what a grilled cheese sandwich with slices of apple on it would be. But having said that, I knew what to expect from the the, the bulls and bears, and so that's what I stuck with. I played it safe, and I got that 
Yeah, and me personally, I love smoked salmon. I love cream cheese. It was also a safe option for me. I, I wasn't feeling too adventurous. However, that cannoli did look really good. I was gonna be, I was really tempted to get that because wow, that looked amazing. But the old Tum Tum was not ready for that. It was, well, there wasn't enough room in that, not, not enough in that compartment. But oh, man. yeah, I think that's about it. So good. So I'd give it, i give it both solid eight and a half. Okay, both yeah. Of them, I gave the, the salmon potato salad though, I give it a 10. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was salad. so good. Oh I come back here and ask for, you know, just give me a, a, a gallon of that and I'll sit out here with, yeah. with a fork. And, uh -huh. you know, I can come here and order like three of those. And... Eat myself into a potato and dill coma. <laughs> yeah, the dill Gosh. was a really nice addition to it, oh, too. Fantastic. That was amazing. And it was so cool. It just stayed yeah, cool. Yeah, it stayed cool even though we're in like 90 degree heat right now. I mean, sure, we have an umbrella we're under, but still. Yeah, the humidity is a little high. And, yeah. uh, it's a bit overcast, so we're gonna get some rain eventually. But uh, it's stayed cool. It was just, it was just astounding. Oh, it was lovely, yeah. Alrighty, folks. So we decided to come back to the Today Cafe for like a lunch kind of dessert, and we got the guava guava cheese brioche because this looks amazing. Like, we're gonna split it, of course, because there's no way we could both finish this. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> man, oh man. Alrighty. <sighs> Same time? Ready? 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 Two. Should you come face to face? Good. Give you the chills. I'm crying. It's so good. Based on snake bite, we are by the snake. It's very sugary. Oh, wow. Increase. And even more so than other venomous creatures like spiders, mm -hmm. suggesting something unique about snake behavior. The bread almost tastes like a Hawaiian sweet roll. And then the cheese and the, the jam, or whatever it is. I don't know. I just know it's. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wow. Check that out. So good. Check that out. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This alone raises my rating of this place tenfold. Yeah. Like, you gotta get a dessert here. You, if you get a meal, you have to get potato salad and a dessert. I recommend this. I haven't tried any of the others yet. I mean, you have to understand, it's only 3.15 in the afternoon. Could you imagine being in here, maybe an hour before the park closes, getting a Danish, for you a nice cup of tea, for me a hot cup of coffee? I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Alrighty, so now that we've tried everything now, back for a second review. Um, I'm giving this place a nine. Solid, across the board yeah, nine. Yeah, I, I would say nine. A nine. If it weren't for the bagel and the ciabatta tasting kind of like... Well, if the, if the bread just hadn't toughened up. Yeah, if the bread wasn't so chewy, it would be great. But, I mean, the bread of the Danish, or whatever that was, the, the brioche. Yeah. It was it was so sweet and like moist. Oh, okay. like, oh. <laughs> man! Just thinking about it, the cheese didn't overpower the flavor either. It was like you could taste the cheese, but it wasn't like too much. No, no, no. It was just right. And I mean, every bite you had, you had it was big, big granules of sugar. Yes. Big sugar crystals. They were so nice. Yeah, you're gonna have sticky fingers. For yeah. sure. But, we're done. We demolished it. Yeah, we did. Especially you. You were done before I was even on my second yeah. bite. I actually bit my hand. It was so good. I didn't mean to, but it happens. Yeah. We did good. Yep. Alrighty, folks. So we actually decided to come back to the Zay Deck. No, 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 no. Alrighty, folks. So, 